It is time to drop the hammer. It's a good one out front for Stenhouse. He'll take over the race lead down the back straightaway. Good shuffle and jive. Three wide back through the field. And here comes a hard charge out of Witherspoon. Got a good dig coming off the bottom. So Ricky's got to take him across for lap number one. He'll be a race leader down into turn number one and two. Follow along for the number five car. Justin Barger working second on the field. He's going to catch a little bit of company as he rolls his way out of the corner. Dale Howard's right there, the number 47, pedaling for all he is worth. He slides hard down into turn number one, hot on the heels of Dynamite Jim Schuster. Meanwhile, back behind here comes Mark Smith, picks off R.J. Jacobs in the number 18 J car. He'll pick up another spot. And now set his sights on the 47, trying to work his way into the top three. Second, third, and fourth are hot and heavy. Not so much up front. Smith, slide job. Coming out turn number four, he'll pick off Dale Howard in the 47 car. Howard comes back at him down the inside. To no avail, however, and now Mark Smith has worked into the top three with the M1 car. Justin Barger will lie out ahead. Straightaway, and Smith gave up some distance, turn number three and four, not quite as quick through that end of the racetrack. Derek Hagar, for the records, worked his way up through the field in a tremendous manner as well. In the nine junior car, he has run down Terry Grand at number 10, as a matter of fact. Heads down into turn number one and two, slides through the lap traffic. Like corn through a goose at that end of the racetrack. We'll see how quick he is down here at turn number three and four. But now can see Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in the 17 junior car out ahead. He is stuck. Now to turn number two and down the back straightaway. Stenhouse not yet into turn number three, and Barger was already out of turn number two. Boy, oh howdy. As he coming, Justin around the 44 M car of magic puts him by the wayside. Now in the same two corners as Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in the 17 JR car. How many laps remain? Just a handful, five to go that time by. Justin Barger now within half a straightaway. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. the 29 car lies in between. Trying to get himself around Kyle Amerson. Amerson drops the nose on it, drops down around the rest track and works to the outside of the 28 of Willingham. But that is the tail right there. Could Justin Barger catch Ricky Stenhouse Jr. up front in the 17 JR? Twin sticks. We're out. The last time through, there's the white flag for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And it's got to be a colossal effort coming out. Justin Barger, and he's there within about four car lengths out of two. Slip through the corner and down into turn number three and four. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. needs to be perfect. Justin Barger almost got him run down. But Stenhouse goes back to back at Southern Raceway at the Battle at the Beach.